Hi everyone, it's Sue Plum here to share a scrapbooking process video with you. Now today's layout that I am sharing with you is the third project that I have made from my Kidaholic Kits February kit. And for today's project, I'm actually working with one of the February release cut files, which as you can see is that cute little set of glasses there. Now I think these were actually intended as sunglasses, but I decided to use them as a pair of reading glasses. And you can see that I actually cut them with some black cardstock and I backed the little area where the lenses are with a scrap that I had left over from my January kit, which is that sort of blue watercolor colored paper there. And put them aside. I'm going to use those to document some photos of my son that I took a few months ago when we went to get his newest set of glasses. This is something that he really enjoys. He loves going to go and choose his new glasses so it's good that I can keep him excited about wearing them. So for today's layout I decided to use a couple of the Vicky Booten Storyteller papers that are in the February kit. You can see that I'm using that black and white text print paper as my background and then I am using that print there that's sort of got the, the chevron type print on it which is that sort of peachy colour and I've cut a rectangular piece of that and I've just distressed all the edges using my distress tool and put some little tears in it and I actually popped a couple of little staples in it to hold down that rip and then I've fixed that onto the background sheet and now I'm just going in with some white acrylic paint from my stash and my big favorite number four brush or one of my number four brushes and I'm just using the dry brush method just to brush a little bit of white paint over the background just to help define the focal area. Um, I went over it a few times. I didn't really want a lot of paint on this because I didn't want to take away too much from the paper that I was using. I really love the print that's on it. I just wanted to help like lift my foreground materials which I'm going to be putting on up off the background and just provide a little bit of extra separation and another layer of detail. So brushing on the paint using that dry brush method where you get as much paint off the bristles basically as you can before you brush it across your page um, it ensures that there's not really any drying time it's pretty much dry instantly because it is a dry brush brush method. So my plan with this page was to use those um, cut file glasses as a large feature on my page. So you can see the size that I have cut them. And what I am doing there is I didn't actually stick the background paper that I backed the file with all the way around because I wanted to tuck the edges of those two smaller photos in so that the photos were actually sitting within the glasses frame. And then that larger photo of my son, you can see I'm popping above the glasses in the middle there at the top and whilst this does appear quite symmetrical you know me I don't really do symmetrical I don't like anything that's too symmetrical it just doesn't it's not my style um, so it does appear symmetrical to start but I can assure you that there'll be plenty of things going on here that will make it asymmetrical in the end now I went through my stash I pulled out one of my favorite things which is one of those paper doilies I've just got a gray one there because I thought that tone would work well with all the other colors that I'm going with on this page there isn't re really a great range of colors on this page I was going with a simple black white gold and that peachy color there as well so mainly neutrals now I'm using my T-square to get my cut file straight on the page and with that cut file after I backed them I also popped a little bit of cardboard behind them just to help pop them up from the page. So I'm just using my T-square to make sure that they are actually sitting straight on the page and that they are also sitting central on the page because I did actually want this to start in the centre of my page and then I was going to build out from there. Now I haven't actually stuck any photos down at this point. I am actually just fiddling around trying to work out what the arrangement of this page is going to be before I stick anything down. You can see as I said that I have tucked the edges of those photos into the glasses frame 
And speaking of frames, one of the other items that I am working with were those cute puffy frames from Maggie Holmes Sweet Story. So I've got two of the gold ones that I'm actually using to layer behind my main photo. And then I was going through the Jen Hadfield ephemera pack that's there and pulling out some of the gold foiled items so that they would tie in with the gold from this frame because I didn't want the gold frame sticking out too much. I wanted there to be other elements on the page that were going to tie in with the colours. So I found those cute, I was, I was originally going to use that row of houses, but then I found those really cute ones there that have got the little hearts punched out of them. So I just decided to pop one of those on either side. I've also got that little um, circular piece there that also had gold foil detailing on it, which I've popped over on the right hand side. Sort of like a, it's like a mini doily. So that's just to offset that larger doily that I've got going on. Um, then I went in, I, I was happy with the placement of those frames. So I went in with my Scotch Tacky Glue and just stuck the frames down onto the page. You will note that these frames actually have um, an acetate window in them. Um, and that's, you know, you're going to see through the acetate. So make sure when you're using your adhesive that you're sticking it in just behind the gold parts on that page. You can see in the left corner of that frame on the left that some of the glue leaked sort of under the corner. But I'm happy to report that once it was dry, you couldn't see it at all. Uh, the other element I am adding to this page to give it some texture was some loose black cotton thread. I just got a couple of little nests of black cotton thread and I just sort of stuck them over the top of the frames there. And then I'm going to stick my photo over the top with my Helma 450 glue just to hold the cotton down underneath and have it coming out sort of on either side of the photo. Now, I've got gold elements in the frames. I've got the gold elements in those two little houses and that other circular piece all from the die cut pack. And I will actually add an extra gold element towards the end just to help tie that colour scheme together even more. At this point, I was using the Heidi Swap Old School Sticker Book and I really loved the retro look of that font, of that sticker, that cool sticker, and I knew I wanted it on the page. Initially, I was drawn to put it in the centre there, exactly where it ended up being, and then that looked a little bit too neat for me. So I did, you know, audition it in a couple of places, but I'm happy to report that it did end up in the centre and that was going to form part of my title. Going back into the sticker book, I was actually picking through and I was looking for some darker elements and I found those little um, chevron stickers, the black ones. So I did pop a couple of those down. Um, later on, you'll see that I do actually add an extra one because just having the two, like one either side like that was a little bit too symmetrical for me. So I did add a third one just to give me that odd number. Now, with these stickers in the sticker book, that one that you can see that I've added there, that write-on sticker, I really wanted to use that because the colour of the text was absolutely perfect to go with the background and it was perfect to go with that photo of him with the thumbs up. But it's a clear sticker and I knew the words were going to get lost, so all I did was stick it onto a scrap of white cardboard stuck it down and then I fussy cut it out just to give it to that white background so it would pop out from the page. Um, what else am I doing here? Oh, back into the sticker book there. I did the same thing again. I found a little phrase sticker and I really like the phrase that was on it. It says, see the good, which I thought was really good on a page about glasses. But again, this was a clear sticker and I knew that it was going to get lost if I didn't back it with something. So I stuck it onto white cardstock, fussy cut it and then popped it along the bottom edge of my photo. Now you can see I've come back again looking for another gold element and I actually chose one of those gold for butterflies from the ephemera pack. And I'm just tucking it in under the top left corner of my photo there. You can also see those little mini glasses. What I did when I cut that large cut file 
is I also cut a couple of pairs of mini ones because you never know when you'll need those as a cool embellishment on a boy page and especially knowing that my son is a glasses wearer. So I did decide to stick the little one of the little mini pairs on there as an embellishment. That also helped get some more black onto the page. And then I am using those gorgeous um, iridescent sort of white thickers there just to form the second word of my title, which was specs, which ultimately gave me my cool specs title. Now, to finish off tying together the gold on this page, I used some of those um, Jen Hadfield puffy gold hearts, which are so adorable. I could do with a thousand of those. So I scattered a few of those about my page, sort of in three areas of the page to keep the balance. And then I went in with some black ink just to add some splatters and again, tie in those darker elements of the uh, page and, and tie the colour scheme together and also sort of messy it up a bit. And then to finish off my page, I actually added a little bit of stamping using one of my roller stamps from my stash and the phrase that I used was it's a new day because we were getting new glasses. I also just added some quick handwritten journaling up in the right corner and that was pretty much my page tied all together. So um, lots of layers but fairly simple this one. There wasn't any great mixed media on this one. It was just the acrylic paint on the background, some splattering and a bit of stamping. So keeping it simple because I really wanted to allow the photos and the papers that I was using to shine on this page. Um, I really enjoyed putting it together and I love how it came out. He loves it too, which is always a good thing. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Bye.